Well, there are so many ways to pay for things. Now you've got cards, money sharing apps, a lot of it is digital, but some still use the classic, sending a check. Unfortunately, thieves are trying to steal your money by intercepting checks before they reach their destination. Tonight we want to hear from you. Head to THV11.com slash vote and let us know how you'd answer this question. How often do you send checks in the mail? Tonight, THV11's Brooke Buckner joins us with tips on how to avoid falling victim to the latest scheme, check washing. Brooke? That's right, Rolly. Little Rock Police and the Arkansas Bankers Association say it's an ongoing problem and it's happening at personal and post office mailboxes. It's just not right, you know, especially for hardworking individuals to have someone just come and just take their money and get away with it. Elena Hardin says she quickly figured out something went wrong when she sent a check in the mail, but her intended recipient never received it. That day I just happened to double check on it and it was written out to someone I had never made a check out to before and it had appeared that either he had cashed it or deposited it. Hardin went to her bank and was able to stop the payment and get her money back. But now the whole situation made her more aware when sending checks in the future for her construction business. When you have people like this out there, it just makes it even tougher and you have to just be diligent. She did file a police report, which is one thing the Arkansas Bankers Association recommends. Lori Trugden says also contact your bank and the post office immediately if you suspect what's known as check washing. It is rampant right now, and we're hearing about it all over the U.S. It's not just here in Arkansas. According to the U.S. Postal Inspection Service, check washing involves changing the payee's name and the dollar amounts on checks by washing them with chemicals and then depositing them. If you happen to go out of town and, and you leave your mail in your mailbox, you don't stop it at the post office or you don't have a trusted friend pick it up. It's just sitting there um, easily accessible for them to come by and steal it. She recommends paying online if you can. And if you have to mail checks, use a certain kind of pen. The type of pen where the ink bleeds a little bit into the paper is the hardest to wash away. So I would say a felt tip, a Sharpie, things like that. In Little Rock, Brooke Buckner, THV 11 News. Little Rock police have had at least 10 of these check washing reports in the last six months. The public information officer tells me the Secret Service is handling the investigations.